Jean Machio. The timekeeper is Fred Abatello. The referee for the main event is Tony Perez, counting for the knockdowns at the bell, Luis Rivera. Ten rounds, main event of the evening. Introducing in the corner to my right, he hails from Huntington, Long Island. He wears the white trunks, trimmed in green. He weighs 222 pounds even, undefeated in 20 professional fights with 17 knockouts. Here is gentlemen. He wears the blue trunks with gold trim, 214 and a half pounds, Dino Dennis. John Dino Dennis, North Alabama, Massachusetts, 214 and a half pounds. So he's giving away a little weight, giving away a little height. Don't take your eyes off the fighters and don't take your eyes off the corners. Well put, John, because the corners are going to play an important part in this fight. Both these guys are very big and very lumbering, and conditioning, stamina, and the will to win is going to be the three cardinal decisive matters in this fight. Gary Coney is not looking into the eyes of Dino Dennis. He's looking down at the canvas. They didn't go into that uh, Muhammad Ali, Sonny Liston stare. And the seconds are yelling at each other already, Jerry. <laughs> in the blue trunks. Scheduled for 10 rounds. Nobody believes it'll go that far. Including me. Cooney has a three-inch reach advantage. Is going to go. They are, John. I'm sorry, Jerry. Uh, Cooney had that three-inch reach advantage, and he's trying to measure and uh, get his distance with uh, Dino right now. He knows he can reach him with a jab. Dino might be better in a little bit of a crouch, Jerry. And Liz stands right up there, he's straight up. Just a little bit of a crouch, I think, might help him. Might give him a bit more leverage and less of a target. He might go into it. Gary Corney with that pole axe jab. The referee is Tony Perez. First round of a 10 round bout. I think Dino's trying to uh, maneuver away to get inside of the jab. And Dino Dennis's face is red, his nose in particular from those jabs by Jerry Cooney. The big test for Cooney, he's never fought anybody of the quality of a Dino Dennis. He tried to snap a short left hook in there, but far from the target. Well, they've been calling each other names all week long. Had a little bit of a fight at the weigh-in today, and this is the payoff right here and now. He went back, but not from a punch. He lost his balance. No punch. The jab is really working well for Jerry Cooney. Good right hand to the body by Dennis. Right hand underneath the heart. One minute left in the first round. stalking each other, both looking to get a big one over if they can. Dino Dennis, I might remind you, is a, the young man who beat Scott Ledoux. And Scott Ledoux is a very fine fighter. Beating him is a real plus on his record. Thirty seconds left in the round. Establishing distances now, John. Ten seconds. Right hand by Dennis. Yes. That's 
what he's got to do. That's it. That's the end of the round. Good round. Well, the first round, Jerry, uh, it was the jab that really worked for Jerry Cooney. And Dino Dennis got uh, two right hands in on the round. Neither one of which did any real damage, but they were good blows. Um, uh, Dennis seems to have a little bruise or abrasion on the right eye. I don't know if it's on the lid or uh, on the brow. I'm looking at the cotton that Al Raven has in his hand. I see a little blood on it, Jerry. So there's a little bit of a cut there. That does not bode well. Well, I'll tell you, he's got the right guy in the corner. Braverman is a real good cut man. Dennis is not, he's looking up at Al Braverman, pleading with him like, what's wrong with it? How bad is it? Looking at Patty Flood now. It's very early in the fight to sustain a cut like that, and it could be, uh, Well, that changes the complexion. Now he may have to alter his battle for it. Exactly. Okay, we're in round two. That's Jerry Cooney in the white trunks, and John Dino Dennis in the blue trunks. Referee, Tony Perez. A slight nick over the right eye of Dino Dennis. He's using that long jab to advantage. Dennis was real concerned about that cut between rounds. It doesn't look bad right now. It's a nick. But it could develop into something real serious. Everybody says if Jerry Cooney wins it, he's beaten a man who is a well-known, reputable fighter, a man of status in the heavyweight division. And if Jerry beats him or knocks him out, he'll go on to much greater worlds. But let's see. Dino Dennis has other ideas. Jerry's reach. Is a big advantage, Jerry. Yes, it is. Dino's trying to come over the top with the right hand, but he hasn't been too successful. Cooney, 222 pounds. Dennis, 214 and a half. Good left hook by Cooney. It staggered Dennis. It staggered him. It hurt him. That left hook to the stomach hurt, too. Long right hand by Jerry Cooney. A left hook by Cooney. Another one. In the corner, he's in his hands with everything now. Concentrating on the body, and that eye is open now. The cut is open. Dennis is taking some fierce shots from Jerry Oh, his face is a bloody mess now. And the right side of his face is cut now. Dennis is hurt, and he's hurt bad. And he could go. He could go in this round. Dennis's face is a bloody mess. seconds left in the round. Dennis bleeding all over his face. Cooney, right hand to the body. Going punches out, catching every one of them. Catching Dennis with every one of them. 30 seconds left in the round. Cooney's got blood all over his face, but it's from Dennis. It's Dennis's blood. Jerry Cooney. Cooney retreated. The round is almost over. Five seconds. Dennis came up with a left-right combination that hurt Cooney, and the round is over. That's the end of round two. The doctor is coming in to examine the cut. Cooney almost made a very tragic mistake. He got caught with the right hand. If there was anything more behind it, he would have gone. I want to tell you something, Jerry. I was watching Cooney walk to his corner. He's walking a little bit shaky. So those two punches that left and right to the head by Dino Dennis did a lot of damage, more than uh, most people here think, I'm sure. There's Dennis on the right. Now watch the left-right combination he throws to Jerry's head. There's the left. There's the right follow through. That was a real solid right hand. And look at uh, Coney retreat. Move back. Which is the right thing to do, by the way. 
but I don't know if Dino has got the, the stamina to recover from the... He took some pretty bad body shots and took the, the gas right out of him. Dr. Frank Guarino was in the ring in between rounds, looked at Dennis's face, said something to Tony Perez. I think Dennis's nose is bleeding and he's... Uh, and the blood is there already. One punch his eye is cut. Is there a cut alongside his left eye, Jerry? Is that from his nose? I think it's from his nose, but he's cut over the lip. Okay, we're in the third round. Dennis has taken a beating. He came across with a combination near the end of that second round that really hurt Jerry Cooney. Cooney's recovered from it, though. He's strong. He's fresh again. has been in there with all the tough guys. Good shot to the kidney by Dennis. But he's a tired fighter now, and it's only yes, uh, round three. The best thing he can do right now, Jerry, if he can, is lay inside and go to work on Jerry's right. body. Outside the reach. A left hook is on. A left hook did it. A left hook did it. And Dennis is in real trouble. He's reeling. He's trying to get up. Six. He's seven, up, but he's really shaky. Eight. Really shaky. He says to the referee, I'm all right, but I don't know. And that's it. Referee Tony Perez says the fight's over as Jerry Cooney does a little steak dance in the middle of the ring. The fight is over. A left hook did it. Dino Dennis down, got up, said he could fight. Referee says, no good, you've had enough. And Jerry Cooney all over the ring, being hugged by his manager, Mike Jones. Dennis Rappaport. A lot of people trying to get in the ring, being kept out by the guard security staff. It was a left hook that just exploded on impact. When the left hook was thrown, Dino Dennis's hands were wide open. He was trying to move back. He was trying to get off the punch. He was thinking about doing something. In the meantime, the crusher came across. A left hook by Dino Dennis. That was the end of the night. A left hook by Jerry Cooney, rather. That was the end of the night for Dino Dennis. We're ready now with the official time, Jackie Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of contest, one minute, 14 seconds of the third round. Referee Tony Perez stops the bout. The winner by a technical knockout is 21st straight professional victory, gentlemen, Jerry Cooney. Jerry Cooney. Jerry Cooney wins his 21st straight bout. 18 knockouts and 21 bouts. There he is. Jerry Cooney from Huntington, Long Island, and Huntington has got a lot to be proud of tonight. Two winners on the card here in Madison Square Garden. in that last round. We take a look at Dino Dennis being worked on in this corner. He's got a cut over his left, his right eye rather. He's got a cut on his lip. He's got a bloody nose. He was a pretty beat up fighter at this point. This is just before the start of the round. Dino Dennis looking at Al Braverman, asking him questions. There's a little cut, I think, on the bridge of the nose too, Jerry.